an ongoing project across the tracks. Behind Linder Hall lays a construction site for the future train track tunnel. The university says the addition is worth it, but blocked roads have caused congestion at Williamson and Haggard, leaving some students not so enthusiastic. Tim Barber has a story. It's been quiet in between North and South campus lately, but in coming weeks that will change when workers start digging away to build the $2 million tunnel. This is really important because this is a safety issue and has been for a long time. Elon Finance Vice President Gerald Whittington says the North Carolina Railroad came to Elon with the idea four years ago, a concept the university was eager to make into a reality. We took a look at it, thought it was absolutely the right idea, particularly as it came hard upon us opening up the South Campus and the number of students who were going back and forth there. The first thing they need to do in order to build the tunnel is to dig out all these dirt and rocks. And then they're gonna put these pipes along the road before digging out a hole under the railroad track, injecting two slabs of concrete, digging out the rest, and then creating the tunnel. They're actually gonna cut the railroad tracks. Neil Bromelow is overseeing the project. So they'll pre-make a, a bridge, put the railroad tracks on that, so the trains will run continuously. Bromelow says the project should be done in May, but some students say that's not soon enough. Personally, I don't see the great purpose behind, you know, having the tunnel. It's frustrating because I kind of wish they had done it beforehand, like during the summer. Definitely not worth the money. How would you cost a fatality? Could you say in your own mind that, well, we didn't spend it because we it was the bad economy and we really didn't want to spend it and then feel good about the fact that there was a fatality? We don't think so. Tim Barber, Phoenix 14 News.